Welcome to this new video about handle exercises for princess and I'm Ricardo and Musicus Practicus and today we're gonna practice with the exercise number 20. Hey, before starting with the video, download the 100 pages free ebook of all handle exercises I prepared for give you a better experience. In this ebook you find all the exercises with the bass alone, all the exercises on a keyboard tablature, that means you can do every exercise in writing, some tips that can be useful for doing well the exercises, and a possible realization of each exercise. Download it for free by the link in the description. In this exercise, the 20th exercise by Handel, we practice with double suspensions. In the last video, we have practiced with suspensions like 4-3, like 7 6 and like 9 8 and in this video we practice with double suspensions that are the combination between two of the previous suspensions let's do an example if we have as in this case 8 okay i can have 7 6 right but i can also have 3 that is 9 8 now, let's do it in the lower octave. 8, 7, 6, and now 10, 3, 9, 8. And we can play these two suspensions together. This is an example of double suspensions. So, let's play now our exercise. We are in G minor and the meter is a common time. Let's start playing the bass. So let's start from the beginning, 3-5 chord, then 3-6 chord and 3-5 chord. We already know this beginning. Then, what are the 7th and the 9th of the next chord, on the next bass, on the next note of the bass? They are the B flat, the 7th, and the D, the 9th. Do we have these notes in our voice, yeah. And the remaining voice, okay, in this case the tenor, goes to the third. Right? If you remember, and if you know the rules of counterpoint, play 9 8 9 8 in this way. Tight 8 is not so good because they sound like parallel octaves because we have 9 8, 9 8, 9 8. We don't have other numbers, right? So, in this case, because we have a really hard, really strong harmony thanks to all the dissonances, and this is not a piece I would play fast. In this case, are correct according to Handel. This is exactly what Handel wants because we can read the numeration of figure bass as the number of chords, but also in this case as the melody of the other voices transform in numbers. Nine, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, seven, six. So this is what Handel wants. The middle voice, the tenor goes with parallel thirds. Good. Let's go on. Sixth. Six. Okay. Now we jump here for having at this point two and four. Uh, a trick you can use for individuate the correct notes is uh, if you have the seventh and the nine, the nine is like the two, okay? Is the two an octave lower? So if we have the E flat in the bass, the two notes will be 
G and F, the two neighbor notes. Obviously, both an octave higher. Or in this way. So I jump to this point. In this way, I have this two note in um, has the two upper voices. Seven, three, five, five, six. Cadence, cadence, but be careful not to create cadence. But nine seven, seven and nine. Double suspension, this double suspension is not difficult. You only have to understand how it works. It works like two suspensions, but at the same time. Now let's recap this exercise from the beginning. Good. If you have been watching this video up to the end, I bet you too are fascinated by the world of partimenti, improvisation and historical composition. For us musicians of the 21st century, it's important and fundamental to know these techniques and the way in which the great master of the past used them artfully to compose the extraordinary music we play today. If you master these patterns, you can better understand and interpret what you play. You can compose new music based on these patterns and you can improvise new music from scratch because you know the grammar of this musical language. For that I created Improvisation Elements, a set of several improvisation exercise videos for each of which you can download a PDF to practice whenever you want. Improvisation Elements is an ambitious project and is reserved for those who support my work on Patreon. Every week I upload new Improvisation Elements videos on different topics, sequences, scales, cadences and more. All these videos are organized at the following page. So now subscribe a membership on Patreon, choose the exercise you want to practice and become an improviser.